Good morning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to first set up the firmware on Rambo. So, first you need to download some things. Um, you can get it all from the internet. What am I looking for? My home folder. So, I put all my stuff in this TAS folder. I got Slicer. Well, I don't, you don't need that for this. You just need Really all you need is Arduino, so just download that from the internet. Um, and you're also going to need the Marlin firmware, so download that from uh, lulzbot, download.lulzbot.com. Get that there. So, um, open up your terminal and navigate to the Arduino. Oh, also I put I put the I put the Marlin firmware in my Arduino folder. I don't know if you have to do that or not, but I did. Um, it's just home Arduino by default on Ubuntu. Anyway, navigate to um, the folder that contains Arduino. Whoops. And run. I have to run it as a super user. Um, every time I do it, just because I don't have permission to communicate with the wireless or the USB ports for some reason. Um, so open up Arduino as a pseudo user. Um, that's obviously redundant. But anyway, and then open. Um, your Marlin navigate to your Marlin folder. What's mine? Home. Marlin. And open up the INO file. And then you're gonna get a screen with all these tabs. So um, this is all the these are all the files that are part of the firmware. Um, obviously not an expert on this yet, um, but once, for me, I'm testing it, uh, I'm just testing the motion, and there's a, fail, there's a, uh, there's a feature where you, you need a thermistor, a calibrated ther thermistor, I don't know if people say thermistor or thermistor, but anyway, you need one of those plugged in and working for the firmware to work or for the, the the Rambo to work at all. So to get around that, you go to your configuration.h file uh, right here and make sure define motherboard is 301 and the power supply that depends on whatever you're using. Um, but The only thing you really have to change at first is the temp sensor. If you don't have temp sensors, set them all to zero because they don't exist. Um, and then, if your Rambo board is plugged in, you should be able to go up here to Tools. Well, you can do this whether it's plugged in or not, but you can't upload it if it's not plugged in, obviously. So set it to the Arduino Mega 2560, which is the chip that we're working with here. Uh, that's under the board line um, and then make sure your port is set to the right port um, and once you've got your configuration.h file modified to your liking there's a lot more in here that I have not gotten into just because I don't even know what's going on yet um, go ahead and press the arrow here and upload and it'll compile and then it should say upload done after a little while And if you're looking, you'll see some blinking lights on the board, and that should make you very happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're done offloading. Now you can go ahead and quit. And 
if that went correctly, um, we should be able to go into print run. And once you're in there, I run that as a su as a super user as well because um, I run that as a super user as well just because of the communication with the ports thing. Um, I'm just running this from source because there's no package software package yet for Ubuntu. And go ahead and hit port and should pop up thar and make sure your baud rate is properly set to 115 200 and press connect and just look at that the printer is now online so before I did anything when I first had plugged it in uh, I would get an error message and then I realized I had to run it as a super user so then I was getting um, an error message that was related to well the first error message was because it couldn't communicate out of the port the second error message was because of the thermistor setting um, it was failing to communicate with the thermistor so I guess that's a good feature if you want to make sure that your thermistors are working all the time um, but for me it was not a good feature so at this point you should be able to have motion um, electromechanical motion if you have your power supply turned on and set up. So let me get my camera. If you go ahead and fiddle with, I don't have my Z couplers on there really yet, so I'm just going to use the Y motion. But if you take a look and you press like move Y 100, should. Oh, I forgot to turn my power supply on. So this is a piece of shit I made in two hours, but it seems to be doing the job for the motors. Um, doesn't want to move. Right oh, 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 oh! Sorry, that's not cool. I think it might think it's in the home set position, and the Y. I'll just move it myself. Um, but yeah, you should be able to move the bed, at least, and the X-carriage. Uh, see, it thinks it's in the home position. So, I don't really know entirely what's going on yet, but I thought this video might help you just get started.